why you shouldn't use Wells Fargo. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, I'm not a big fan of big banking to begin with. As you probably already know, if you watched any of my other previous videos, they're all pretty much part of the bank cartel, and they're trying to take advantage of the American people. But we're specifically going to take a look at Wells Fargo right now. All right, just recently, they just had to pay a $1.2 billion settlement to the U.S. government for accepting risky, uh, risky home ownerships. You know, mortgages, mortgages, risky mortgages. What they did by doing that is they pretty much gave people loans that they could not afford, and they did it on purpose to swindle people, so they had to pay a settlement. But that is not what I'm going to get into, and that is not the major reason why I'm saying not to bank with them. The major reason I'm saying not to bank with them, especially if you're just now starting out banking, is that they charge you money for not having money. Isn't that ridiculous? If you do not use them, if you have a bank account, you either have to have direct deposit or you have to use a certain amount of money every single month with their card. Either a certain amount of money or a certain amount of transactions. I think it's 10 to 15 transactions. I can't remember at this exact minute. But if you do not have any of those things and you do not do any of those things for the month, they will charge you $10 per month. So they're charging you money for letting them hold on to your money because you didn't use enough of your own money. I mean, isn't that ridiculous? Should we even allow that? I mean, even look at the uh, overdraft fees. I mean, all banks have overdraft fees and they are ridiculous. It's like, oh God, well, I didn't have money, so you're gonna charge me 20 some dollars because I didn't have money? I didn't realize I didn't have money. All it took was one little swipe, what did it take? 2.2 seconds on your computer to realize that I didn't have money and to decline the card and you're going to charge me 20 some dollars for it. I mean, I can understand maybe a dollar. Even then, you're making out like bandits and you're just stealing money at that point. But 20 some dollars? Are you kidding me? Why would you charge that much? You know it doesn't cost that much. It is ridiculous, but there's definitely way better banks than Wells Fargo. Find one that doesn't charge you money every month for not having money. A good one I know of is PNC. Now, sadly, that is an East Coast thing, and it is not on the West Coast, because I don't have that here. And I'm in California right now, so came from the East Coast, had PNC, can't go to an ATM, can't go deposit cash, because PNC is not here. It is sad. And now I got stuck with Wells Fargo for a minute, and they screwed me over. So, because I know right now, I ain't making shit. So they're charging me $10 a month. It's a little depressing. They could have just told me I didn't have any money. And they also let me up my limit until I got screwed over. Instead of telling me I didn't have money, they waited till I was $200 in debt. And they're like, oh, wait, you can't use your card anymore. Even though I thought I actually had that money for some reason, and... That is my own fault. I did get that myself into that mess. But them charging me $10 a month because of it? Hmm. That's a little ridiculous because they do that to anybody. Even if you have a, like 500 bucks in there and you're just sitting there, they're going to charge you $10 a month if you don't use it. If you, don't use your, if you don't use your money, if you're not in a direct deposit or you're not using your car a certain amount of times a month, they are going to charge you $10 a month of your own money for not using their money. Isn't that ridiculous? They're already using your money to do financing. They're taking all of our money and using it for financing. And they're making big bucks off of doing it. But yet, <laughs> at the same time, they still gotta swindle you out of more. <sighs> just what a great bank. Aren't banks just fantastic? I mean, this is just ridiculous that we let this go on. We need better rules and better legislation to prevent this from happening. And that's why you shouldn't use Wells Fargo.